Hello, my name is Dr Sonia Anderson and I'm a consultant clinical psychologist working for the Autism Services in Mercy Care NHS Foundation Trust. I'm here to tell you about an exciting opportunity to work with autistic adults within our NHS Trust. It's a new team, so there'll be some service development involvement, working with autistic adults who may be at risk of an admission into an inpatient service or who is at risk of uh, a placement breakdown. So these people really require some fantastic support uh, and it'd be working within uh, MDT alongside various other professionals. As this is a new post and a new service, you'll have the opportunity to experience service development and be able to help support and shape this service so that we're providing the best care for our autistic adults. As a senior psychologist, you'll play a vital role in the liaison and consultation with our partner agencies, such as social care, our community services and our inpatient services. There will also be a strong focus on supervision and uh, training within our multi-agency services. The role will also include some direct clinical work and support with the most complex of cases. Whilst the successful post holder will receive supervision from a consultant clinical psychologist, the psychologist will be working alongside other staff members from a range of um, professions. And that's a really exciting opportunity too, because actually it's sharing the skill set, it's learning from each other. In addition to that, of course, there'll be some direct clinical work and working alongside within our MDT. We provide flexible working, so there will be times when you are able to work from home in addition to working at base at Willis House. The area covers Warrington, St Helens, Knowsley and Holton. And our hours are generally nine to five. This post is a really exciting opportunity to be part of service development right from the start. It's opportunity to shape a service, to be part of gathering evidence around the successfulness and the usefulness of the service and also to you know consider how we can grow the service and develop it to ensure that we're meeting the needs of our clinical population.